Welcome back. We're going to be starting a new Blender series for it to be MMD specific. I'm going to be using this uh, Blender 3.6 XTOS version and start everything from scratch. Right now we're going to be installing MMD tools and Unit tools and how to ins uh, import our first model. From there, I'm going to be doing other videos, going to be more specific on things, how to do little errors you're going to get, and problem solving that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing models from scratch, all the way from the bottom to the up, how to import a model, how to convert a model, and a bunch of other things. So first of all, let's get this one started. You press N you have this little toggle on when you're not your add-ons are gonna be living here on your right right now we have nothing installed you have our tools views and items in order to install an add-on we're gonna go to edit preferences you're gonna find your interface themes you port lights and down here we have add-ons you're gonna click on that one you know, press up here it says install. Once you press install, you're gonna find where you uh, download your add-on. Usually, it's gonna be from GitHub. Here, I had it in my documents folder, and then we're gonna install in first MD tools. Do not unzip the uh, files because uh, Blender unzips um, it and installs it in their proper file location. So make sure that they're in a zip format and press install. And then you need like it highlights it. Enable it by checking the mark. And then you can open this one up. Here, after you install MD tools for the first time, you don't have to go and fetch it again. He has see, this little nifty tool has to do check for updates. So over time, let's say like every month or so, come back and click on this one. And then it's gonna give you whether or not you can you should update or not. Here are the different versions. You can go in the previous uh, versions, like if for some reason your add-on doesn't quite work you can go back in the official version or update and stay up to date so this is the current one today and so everything should be fine and here on our M panel we have a brand new tab within this tab we can now import our model Here you will go, find your model that you want to import, and then you can press import. You can find, I don't have, currently have a model here for that yet. Uh, what I want to do now is install um, unit tools because the any tools alone is very limited. You can uh, import a model and have very limited uh, issues. Uh, with Unit Tools, your options are going to be more widely open. And it's going to have more tools for you to do. So let's get that one. Uh, let's go to Add-ons, go the way up here, go Installed. And then from here, you're going to see the image tools is going to expand. It's going to be way more options after you put this one on. So install this one, click it, and then here, this one's our thing is grew. And now we also have a brand new tab that's called assets. So not only did uh, any tools give us a whole lot more options, they're a bit overwhelming in the beginning and then a new tool has assets the assets once is pretty cool because you know so we don't need this one anymore 
in Blender, you usually has this little section that says auto save preferences. So you can close it and it will save your settings. But I found that that doesn't quite work all the time. So press the save preferences. Now, next time you close and open up Blender, your add ons or your settings that you move should be safe. And if for some reason you screw something up, let's say you move a bunch of things, right? Uh, you can always come back and go clean up. Uh, no, over here in defaults and load factory defaults. And this is what this does your blender goes back into its original state. So since I have a 4K monitor, my whole time settings change, right? So everything's super tiny. So just be aware that your whole entire settings will go back to defaults. So from, I need to go back and put this to. And then you don't have to install your add-ons anymore, but you will have to toggle them back on so they're no longer here so here in the search bar first MMD and then they're grayed out so just toggle them on and it should pop up and also in the tools I mean I mean union tools toggle that one and then they're back once again save preferences and then this is your settings that are going to be uh, boot it up once again so just be aware of that right if you ever go to the factory defaults everything screwed up you have to reset your home tower settings but it's the brute force way of doing it so let's grab something here from the assets and apparently the thumbnails are not working for me. I'm not entirely sure why. But here you can import and download uh, models that are, have been uh, they're openly available online. For this ones, the Genshin models are publicly available, so he has added them to his list. Just be aware that he also has some um, R18 plus uh, models here. So here, import. So and here we can delete. Press an X. Don't need that guy anymore. Here we have a few options in. Blender. So wireframe, I mean this is the, uh, what do you call this one, yeah. x-ray view, you can see right through the model, this option, wireframe view, you can see all the wires, solid view is the standard view, the preview view, and then your render view. So the render view is actually using your lights that you have. For instance, this is going to be our light, and you can grab an item by pressing on it and pressing G, move it around, and this is nice. Put it here in the front, so you can easily see it. So you can move it around, and in viewport view the light doesn't do squat right so this is the two settings one one's going to implement all the light settings from the world light sources and everything else and then you're going to usually be working on the uh, uh, shading view but in Unia's uh, tools he has one more item that for instance let me toggle off the settings by pressing this one and now you don't see any of the blender junk this is not ideal for uh, tune shading if that's what you're looking for so Unia has something pretty nifty he added in so 
go to your uh, viewport in the your uh, solid view up here toggle down and then he has this part called shadeless and now the model has the uh, tune effect just be aware that you go back into your uh, render view you go back to the standard view so this only works within this view so if you want to render this I believe the only way will be to grab your camera so let me turn this one and the camera is up here so in order to go to your camera view so to see what your camera is doing you can press uh, numpad 0 and you have this view and you press F12 you cannot render that and then this render if you zoom in it's actually using the render sensor so whatever you have on this look your render settings that's what you're capturing with your camera you press this look and most likely it's not going to be what you want now let's move the camera somewhere close you can press G as long as you have it selected press S for scale then just let's do squat for the camera and R to rotate now you can press R X rotate it on a specific axis or you can go below here to viewport I mean the view, view settings and camera to view in camera to view now wherever you move your camera I mean your actual view your camera is going to go with it so just be aware that you need to untoggle this off in order to get out of there if you do not let's just go back into it and then you move you're gonna uh, totally change your camera uh, settings right so yeah well you need to untoggle that off and then, then you cut off so now we can render that so a bit closer so let's probably get it a little bit closer let's get the face let's render that so okay so that looks better let me toggle that off but we want to get uh, this look, the tune look. We're gonna go here to view and render viewport image. And now we have the blender look. So we can also save two different slots or up to eight to get different views. Uh, different uh, render settings so you can compare so let's compare our regular so press F12 and 1 this gives you the anime look is probably what you're looking for and then the render view which is going to be using the PBR settings usually for uh, blender and you can also do the same, same thing and then render your animations using the viewport though keep in mind that it's going to render the viewport so everything that you see here in the background so let me go back to it let me go to back three and then render image all the junk that you currently see in your actual viewport will show up so make sure you come up here and you toggle all the extra junks out before you do your animations and then you render that image out so that is a simple way how to render your first tune shade animations without actually need needing to do any of the complicated here 
Let's go press home. Without having to learn any of this complicated nooting around and having to change and adding the tune shader. Go back into when. So Union made that little process super simple. All right, so now you know how to install, how to uh, import a model, how to use the assets, and how to easily do your first uh, render image, whether it's gonna be full Blender settings in the renders or the simple um, viewport image rendering. And with this, I'm going to call it. And next time, we're going to be doing something else. Oh. Catch you next time, buds. Laters.